Hey everybody, Trisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you an overview of the Dyson Ball Animal Pro Plus Vacuum Cleaner. Um, I got this last week and one of the first things I noticed when we took it out of the box is that there was no instructions or description manual for any of the accessories that were included. So this particular vacuum, I believe is a Costco exclusive. If you're lucky enough to find one of these things, grab it. It was such an amazing deal. I bought it at um, the Costco in Livermore, California, and I believe we purchased it for $239.99. Now it came with a bag and seven um, attachments or accessories. And um, I went onto the Dyson website, which you can buy all these accessories separately if your particular model didn't come with it. And I was able to find six of the seven that it came with, and I added it all up, like if you were to purchase them separately. And the total of six out of the seven was almost $223. So the sixth one, and I'll go over the individual prices later, um, I'm guessing it's at least worth 50 bucks. So I feel that I, this was a steal. If you can find this, get it, get one for your mom and your grandma and your sister and your best friend, they will love you forever. So before I get into any of the accessories, I just kind of want to show you the main features of the vacuum. Um, so first important thing is the canister itself, the canister release and how you're going to empty the canister. So there is a red button up here. That's to release the canister. Comes out super easy. You're going to use the same button, which is going to open up a door down here. Make sure before you press this, while it's not in the vacuum, that you're hovering over some kind of um, trash can or container that you want to catch all this gunk in. Because once you press it, this little door is going to open it and everything's going to fall out. There is a little bit of stuff in there right now because I was using it a minute ago. Um, but once you empty it, you're just going to press up on it. You're going to hear it snap. Now it's closed. Turn it back around and then just line it up and it easily snaps right back into place. So something that really surprised me about this vacuum is how lightweight it actually is um, in comparison to the vacuum that I'm getting rid of. Um, I guess I was a little bit surprised at the cord and how durable and heavy duty it actually is considering it's such a lightweight vacuum. Um, so I think cords are super important. There's nothing more frustrating than having to get rid of a working appliance that you love because its cord went bad. Um, so like most vacuums, you just wrap it around. There's two little handles. Let me see that. <laughs> that you kind of wrap it around. Um, I have this up a little bit high right now, but let me just take it down to show you. To release it, you just twist this red bar down and take the cord off. It's that easy. There is a clip on the end so that once you have it wrapped all the way around, you just clip this little thing, attach it to a piece of the cord when it's wrapped up there for easy storage. To release the handle, it's a little bit different than the vacuum I'm used to. Um, some vacuums have an actual release lever or the vacuum that I'm getting rid of actually had a spot for your foot on the floor brushes. You put your foot there and then you pull down on the, um, on the handle. This doesn't have any of that. You simply, when it's in the upright position, you simply grab it by its handle and pull back. It clicks kind of loud and you're going to think you broke something, but you didn't. Um, so when you release it, let's see if I can pull it up. These back wheels are going to release. And then same thing. When you're finished with it, you just press up on it, loud click, and it's back in place. Two main buttons to get this vacuum going. Super easy. They're both placed right here up top. One is red. Can you see it? 
The red one is simply the on off switch. It's gonna make the suction flow happen. The one next to it is gray and that is for the floor rollers. So when you start it, the floor rollers should be going. You're gonna use the floor rollers whenever you're vacuuming on carpets, um, not area rugs. I'm talking like permanent carpet in bedrooms or whatever. Um, if you're gonna be using your vacuum on hard floors, tile, linoleum, hardwood, you're gonna want your rollers off. Um, otherwise, it just kind of spews the debris everywhere instead of actually picking it up. Um, and then some floors, it might leave a marking if you use the rollers. So any hard floors, turn the rollers off. Um, also, if you're going to be vacuuming over area rugs that aren't super heavy and secure on the ground. So I did see other videos on YouTube of people saying they hated this vacuum because it couldn't um, vacuum on their area rugs. Well, that's because you didn't turn the rollers off. Like I have an area rug in my kitchen that's not super like tacky and secure on the wood floor. Um, but if I turn the rollers off, it goes over it just fine. Um, so it might take a little trial and error on your part to find out which areas of your home needs brushes and which doesn't. Um, but it's a cool feature so that you can vacuum all areas. So the last thing I want to show you on the vacuum itself before I get started into the accessories is the extender hose itself. I find this to be the trickiest part of the whole vacuum only because you have to like line up notches and kind of click things into place to put it back. Um, so to get it out, you're going to open up this little lid. Um, let me put this back. And then if you can see this red part here, you just kind of use this as a handle, lift up on it. There's a stiff extender hose that's stored within this, we're gonna call it a slinky hose, um, while it's in the upright position. That's gonna come all the way out. And then you can pull the rest of it out. So this, Extender part kind of helps you to hold on to it as you're maneuvering it around or some accessories you're going to be using it on the floor. Um, this part is super compacted in here, kind of like a slinky. So you just kind of pull and you can see how it's condensed here and it's a little more loose here. Just pull. Pull as much or as little as you need for the job. And then to put it all back, you just kind of do it all in reverse. Press it together. Your, your flexible hose is one now. Press this red button to pull the extender hose back in to the flexible hose. And then to get this all back in place, make sure the red button is facing out. There are little bars here that you're going to want to line up with the red slide it down and then together you're going to pull down and push up so they're together and then close the lid and that's it it's all put back together okay so let's get into the accessories that this bad boy came with um so the first thing i want to show you is what dyson calls their tool bag i however like to call it the diaper bag it looks like this, just a black bag, blue lining. It's pretty durable, but it's made to hold all of your accessories, which I think is pretty cool because it came with quite a few. And had I not had this, I would have not known what to do with it. There are little pockets here on the outside. There's four. I don't know if you can see them very well, but two up here and then two down here. Um, I don't know what I would use those for since everything fits so well in the big pocket. But yeah, on the Dyson website, this goes for $29.99. Super stylish. Take it to the beach with you if you want to. Put your flip flops in here, your sunscreen, and maybe, maybe a Corona. So the first accessory is this. This is called a flat out floor tool. And this is the only accessory that I wasn't able to get an individual price for on the Dyson website. If it's there, I missed it. Um, or maybe it's no longer available. I'm not sure. But in comparison to all of the other tools here, I'm guessing this is probably worth at least 40 to 50 bucks. Um, all of the accessories that I'm going to show you today attach pretty much the same way. So there's a little release 
right here, this little gray button, and all of the accessories have the same little notch here. So you're just gonna line up your release button with the little notch on the accessory. It snaps so easy into place, I'm sure you heard that, and voila. So this accessory is designed for hard floors. Um, there are these strips here to grab hair. Um, it's got a super sleek, slim profile, which is designed to get under furniture. So sofas, um, desks, bookshelves. It's also meant for, I mean, you could probably use it on carpet, but I think it's intended for hard floors. The only thing that I don't love about this one is I wish there were some kind of handle feature. So, I mean, you can grab it by this hard plastic and I just wish there were like some kind of grip on here intended. I don't know why it stinks in this house. I can't get over that stench. What the hell is that coming from? This two-in-one combination tool goes for $18.99 on the Dyson website. I think this is gonna come in handy when I'm vacuuming out my car. This little wide nozzle is gonna help me to get in between seats or in between the door and the seats, um, those hard to reach places up under, um, and then this wider brush will help me get um, on the seats themselves, on the backs of seats. Um, I have an SUV, so the cargo space, it's gonna help me get up in there. Next up, we have this stiff bristle brush. This goes for $19.99 on the Dyson website. This attachment is ideal for high traffic areas, coarse rugs, doormats, car floor mats, and things like that. Things that just need a little extra scrubbing. Here is called the multi-angle brush. This goes for $39.99 on the Dyson website. And it's called the multi-angle because as you can see, you can angle it, it, it turns 360 and it clicks every time. So this is ideal for those high up, hard to reach places in your home. So for example, I'll be using this on my um, ceiling fan blades and my shutters. I have shutters throughout my house. We have high ceilings. So some of them are really hard to reach. So with the flexibility of this and the angles that it can, um, that you can achieve with it. And if I angle my shutters just the right way, I should be able to get um, surface to surface with this and the bristles on this are really soft. I haven't used this before so that's why I'm like caressing it and petting it because I love how it feels. There's also some more of these velour strips inside which this helps to gather hairs and particles. I have two dogs, one who sheds really really bad so believe it or not I often find dog hairs up on the shutter um, blades. I guess that's what you call them blades. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to come in handy. So I won't spend too much time on this. This is called the stair tool. I have zero use for this because I have a single story house, no stairs to be vacuumed. Um, this goes for $8.99, super affordable on the Dyson website. Um, so the reason that it's so great for stairs is that it lifts your carpet pile without sticking so it's not going to pull up on it these velour strips help to capture any hairs that might be we all shed we have pets this is the animal pro plus right so all of these are going to help us with the, that pesky pet hair um, this is another attachment that i'm super excited about this is called the carbon fiber soft dusting brush it goes for 39.99 on the dyson website um, at first i was like what am i going to do with that it's just a stick but it's super soft there are more of these velour strips to capture hairs and particles um, i like the way it's angled i think that it's going to help me reach the top of our tvs the TV itself, believe it or not, like TV screens capture dust. I have a big mirror that is usually right here, it's a standing mirror. Um, I think it'll help me vacuum particles off that. Picture frames, get creative. You can use this for just about anything. Okay, so lastly, we have this Tangle Free 
turbine tool. This accessory goes for $69.99 on the Dyson website, which makes the purchase of this vacuum so worth it. Um, this is especially important for you pet owners. These brushes rotate counterclockwise, which help um, gather any hairs. So you can use this on the carpet or your upholstery on your furniture. Um, so these tiny little brushes move at a super high speed. I'm just now realizing that I forgot to take these things off which makes this flexible. I didn't know that before, so awesome. It's even more awesome than I thought it was earlier. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this probably a lot in my car, on my couches, in, it's narrow, so like probably the area rug under my dining room table where my dog that sheds the most loves to hang out. Um, I'm so excited to use these. I haven't used any of these accessories yet and I think this is the one I'm going to use first. So yeah, there you have it. The Dyson Ball Animal Pro Plus. I'm not just speaking for this particular model of Dyson, but all Dysons, I think that they are awesome vacuums. They are pricier than something you can pick up at Target, but trust me, it's well worth the money. This thing moves when you turn it on and you're just vacuuming your regular floor. It moves with such ease and grace. It's going to make your cleaning jobs so much more easier and pleasant. Um, if you happen to come across this vacuum at Costco for the amazing deal that I was able to snag it up and you don't have animals, I say get it anyway. Um, it has just extra accessories for those of us that do have animals, but it's going to be an amazing vacuum for any household. Um, as always, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share with a friend. Bye.